decades now. That's where I've decided to live, and I love it. Up here in the Northwest Territories, winter blows in by the end of October. Here, I'll stretch a windbreak. There's nothing else available, and you look like in Target, you might become part Okay, is my of husband there. Dennis' traditional territory? It's very cold and very dark, but I mean, so we're getting ready to go on a moose hunt. Okay, I'm gonna load again. And I don't think I hit it at all. My name is Kim, and I'm a trapper. I grew up in Switzerland, and Pierre is my oh, trapping here. partner. Without a proper shelter here, we could die. This cabin is an essential part of surviving. If we don't have a chainsaw and cut with axes and saw, it's like a way longer job. Because come winter, I'm going to be out in the land, hitting the chaplain full time. you are hunting for the community. I feel it's up to me to teach my kids, and hopefully when I'm old, Better get up to the high land here, get a better oh, look. comes in with his snout and vacuum him up. Eh? <laughs> Snort him up his nostrils and he'll just fill his whole face with them. They hand these little packages of pure natural goodness. Tent and make base camp here and then go out on the river from here. So let's see how high it is. We're just gonna try to run up on one. Basic goal is get with 100 yards. That's what I can shoot. So for me, what's at stake now is to have a place for my knee as soon as possible. And without a chainsaw, I would probably take... Fuck, fuck. This Wait is the second. first time we've tried this technique. Wait a when it starts raining like this, we have to be careful because everything gets slippery and... It's really important to be quiet when you're hunting. It's a cow and a calf. We don't shoot the cows for conservation purposes. You take a cow. Is it dark? Try again tomorrow. Get lost, fall in the water, you know, get hermic, get disoriented. There's no one around. It ain't no joke. He always bit his fish, eh? Just to be a lot quicker. Pretty much walked from I might have got, but it's enough. The best to do this is to make some jam to get them preserved right away. If you're not getting lucky just running up on a moose while on the river, you gotta do something different. So you gotta leave the safety. Getting all upset that we're in its space, grunting at us. I don't want to be that close to either of those animals. Put his axe down, it's moving. And it's not accurate to the, the notch like that. The thing we don't have here. Nature is nature. Nature will kill you, will take you, and that's it. It's another rainy day on the Teslin River. And it's not just a moose. So it's an entire winter of meat. It's fun and all, but now we need to get a moose. Huddle this it winter, together. Hopefully, one time. go to those places, there'll be a moose there. So I've been yeah. here since I was probably like five old. I love fishing, trapping. Once you put a hole in there, you're going down. It's really crucial. Like a dock, spot's good, perfect for a plane. So when you're looking for a perfect place, water, to build a heavy dock, loaded. Yeah. But if we could get the, maybe even past this rock. Yeah. Go to bed, and we're gonna hit it hard tomorrow. This is old moose browse here. They'll move They'll around move. different areas year to year. So There's you try to imitate a cow if you want to draw in a bull. And the cow's Closer call range. is kind of like the better chance for a clean kill. It's hunting for food. I really enjoy going for Moose hair on this spruce. You see the size of the moose? And hear him. He went really quiet. Damaged their flows so much. Hard. I want to get it done now, and I don't want to get it done. But the biggest setback I have is the number of spikes. When you first arrive up in the country here, I think it's a good true. idea to listen to the old timers and the elders. Yeah. And guys. The first thing you have to figure out if it's a male or female, because we cannot shoot. Living here or living anywhere, your heart has to be in it. 
but you know, that's a lot of work. I dropped off stuff in the, in the winter, but then when I'm I came back, I noticed all my boxes were. It's important to get a moose because you're prepared and safe for the whole winter. You just gotta tough it out. Harder than it is for you. The longer the There's no goes guarantees on. in the bush. The only opportunity. Everything you need is right around you. We're just at the beginning of the rut. I'm this sure. is going to help me get through the beginning of winter. It's tough to leave, you know, but, but it's also access to fish in the bush. Because it's a survival fit here. Great day and ended with a really nice trout and grading and the sense of uh, really excited about it, but you problem. also get really cautious. It gets more dangerous when there's fog on the river. Should I get the rope out or leave it? I mean, it's disappointing after the whole week, and you put so much. I think that I did an okay job. Just no. Balls. <laughs> It's the end of last few days, so you have to be paying attention, and you don't want to miss it. Have a sustainable lifestyle. We've been hearing moose. Is it because no the one is around, or is it because you're missing the? And that's the beauty of it. Even we know all what we know. And I'm backing you up. You have to be close to secure the shot. But that puts the way you in people would on the land here. I travel up north to guide in the summers. And I come back down. Wind damage from tree branches being down, a fire, animal damage. You'd be freezing cold in a hurry. I've got a pretty no tricky. Uh, so you skidoo in and, and or fly in. I know. Hi. <laughs> We just moved from the Yukon, so we've we only been north. here. Our entire lifestyle, everything every day, depends on the dogs. We use them to get water. We use them. It's not safe enough run um, with an actual dog sled. There's very little snow. This is my last fishing trip of the season, and I'm really for a big catch. Fishing is a very my favorite part of the fish. This will fill you up, you know. You know the elders like it, so that's where most of it goes. To in. your survival. So things that you do become important yeah, and gives me Leave it! I've had them drag me and, uh, off of the trail. The only way I'm going to be able to get up is by building a scaffold. I've uh, acquired a tank. Yeah, I kind of figured that might happen. But you can't take anything for granted because it was it comes to too close. Still moving. Knowledge, yeah. the life that was taken. It's important to, to have moments. Thank you. So it gives you that drive to overcome. That is what keeps me going. And I really want to see her ignore all the little animals here. Leave it! That's something that every dog does not have. So I think a little fire in there. A little that bit slippery today fly. because of the rain, steep roof, and high heights. God, I hope I don't have a problem with the fit. Everything looking at this one is good to go. My next step Hunting, is trapping, fishing, you know, so hard work, eh? But, you know, if you enjoy Let's it... Let's see if this will fit properly now. Two hunts their own animal. We have this channel. Lucky. It's part of for reason. I'm not worried about here, I'm not worried about here because the wind is blowing ahead in the shoulder, like a smelly, nice meat. That could be the time big animal to give his life. The cycle of life, it's like life and maybe one day. I will be... This season, the fall time, crucial. When you don't have enough of a firewood, that is a... Firewood's a premium. And a good place to find that. You know, you hope for the best, prepare you're... for the worst. The worst case scenario is I'm down the beach, there's no wood, I've wasted my time, I go home empty. It's like the day for us because it's the way it's some money. That's an important part of, of living in bush. Of 
course, you know, what we left, the bones. Because that's and the what dust. it looked like 500 years ago. What you gonna find out there, eh? So stuff like that I've learned from elders. From the wind, but, um, you know, years of being out, you know, you, you tend to pick up on Careful unnatural sounds. Fantastic. Going down the rail. Bucket into section. Pull it into the river. Good night. We have this. Bush and trapping is part of it. For the meat to use for baits. You have to be really careful. I'm always stressed about it. If you get your hands. They're way more caught. cautious. We're in the water, it feels like it's their area, you know? It's always the same, like when you get in your news. Our people have been hunting moose. I gotta really think about that. Right here, as a lever. A little tricky you here. Up with them. Uh, if I get them out in the main current, yeah, I could lose them, but we won't know how it turns out. Until north we end of the lake, and we cannot go there. For yeah, this guy, the branches, we should be able to climb here. Just, just and he was thinking on this side, trying to, to build a ladder. Safe first. You can get hurt. You can go down to the truck and drive to the hospital. Best you can just to get home, or you gotta start that. I was trying to shoot some ducks, but they were a little too far. I like this better way to leave. Extra careful for me to because it's way. it's so hard to deal with, you know, after an accident. Yeah. We don't have that luxury. It's gonna be the test. Mm -hmm. No, not this one. We've secured the meat, so we can focus more on trapping. Get you through the winter. Yeah, if we're lucky. I can't afford to use these logs. My list of things to do here is extensive long, and long. I'm going to be so at fast. it till the day. Maybe they didn't come back. We, were, we made too much noise and too much. There you go. Well, yeah. We have a good, good start ready for the season. It's, it's positive. We wouldn't be able to live off the land without the dogs. They're working dogs. So to get water, we use them to get firewood. Under the ice to fish for our dogs. Should be enough. There is no other option for dogs. Especially difficult in the winter because you got to get the ice, and quite often your ice is over two feet thick. Width of net you have. We have a nine foot net, so we need it at least to be. There's yeah. a lot of different come off real easy. I have two purposes for Boss and Pop. One is I make my own. She'll buy about 10 pounds. I need to buy use supplies, tools, sun, things goes that goes down. Help. It's about 30. minus 30. Just the extreme cold itself. Beginning of season, we create new so trends. Basically, it's a modern hunter gather. Where, where our friend go to work every day, the meat was inside. This is one like this. We count on that meat. We can go through. My board, it's only aluminum, eh? So you'll bend How it up. How much your arms quick. and your muscles hurt? You have to just push through. We just don't know this lake that good. To the middle and over there. I was about to throw Denna in the uh, hole. <laughs> the hole we made is in water that's too deep. It's a box for bending. A little too long. Miscalculated. You're in the snake oil peddler's lab. Normally we use tin to go around the tree, higher. And uh, the territory is quite big. It's like 500 kilometers square. It's always risky to cross, uh, of course, but when you travel in the bush, uh, you over have to my newest cabin. The trip is about 40 kilometers. It's straight bush and ice, but we got to watch right there. Look how deep that is. Holy I can't even feel the bottom. Doing the net needs to be in the water so we can get fish to feed them. This has to be it. And you shoot it down under the ice and it claws its way along the bottom of the ice. You only have two feet on either side of that it's hole. It's turned into an excellent infusion. Hey, okay. Process forward. Super hot solution. Yeah, you just yeah, careful. Hello, yeah. Ciao. The rivers could be really dangerous. We can go through the ice. We've been Walking the whole day, trying to set a new... But I'm not 
hundred percent sure. Go way down. Three, four, five, six, we can start seven. going out hunting because I know that I can be able to help us with it. So it's really great. Today I'm going out to get some firewood. Living the way we want to live as a family all depends on us dogs. You touch the harnesses, the second you touch the dog sled, they are just wild to go. The whole wood, so don't really have a choice. No stopping it once they you start like that. Woo! It escalates to a bigger mate snaffle. Bingling in the back is like, oh, trapping's right there. Start to freeze, it's good. Okay. Well, yeah, you can leave them there. So you just take make maybe a kilometer or two, and that, see, you cannot do anything with this kind of snow. Now, this is just to adapt because in the bush, there are situations all the time, like all the time, all the time. We're plentiful so here, with grouse. There's roughies, spruce hens. Part of the problem is is uh, Start starting, starting some science around this. It's so I don't cool. have a lot of choice. You have to eat. It insulates your machine and nice and warm to start the next morning. Today, you know, I'm, I'm heading out trapping. I'm going with my dad. put these in the sled now? Yeah, you can throw them, throw them in the front there. The trail that I go on to get wood, I heavily use trails. Should just be one Wait, little just cut. take it down. Goes nice and smooth. It might seem a lot when you have to do it ten times, but it's nothing compared to what. So the time right I now, the way it is, I'm satisfied. You see the bait. We only need to smear a bit of. We are fish. on the edge of the creek now. It's an opening here. Probably the wolverine. In the winter time, uh, that it's, it's practical and easy. You just find their tracks. Right. Okay, I'm gonna set this snare under the canopy. And the dogs here. took off. What the f Wait! All my gears on that sled. When you're cutting trees, people think you just go out and it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. It's dangerous now. I have to keep going. I got it down. In the temperature. Mm -hmm. It's perfect height right there. And when we catch our marten when they're hanging. Survival. And if you ever go trapping with your buddy someday okay. and you see him. Traps, setting Care, snares, me mostly traps. And uh, now it's getting cold and it's about the end of the day. But we're still when the snow pushed the ice, down. the water go up there. <sighs> One nothing rabbit. The thing is about snares, it's kind of like to get that valuable stuff. I haven't been fortunate enough to get any grouse this morning or any. I haven't got any Wait, rabbits. So there's still part sap in there. It's like cutting a ice block. Everything. Feels good to use waterways to go on our trap line, you know, to make trails and stuff like that. And when crossing we're very in. Wow. Nice. Fine. Because we are on the right track. We know how to trap still, and it's good. In the fall, we got a moose, put it in the cache, and uh, carry every day to survive here. Yeah. Well, let's go. It's a bit of a gamble, at least. You're always out there doing physical jobs. You sweat. There's water. Overflow basically is um, overflow, so it means water is... In order to get me. by here, I need to develop a good routine. Take one step. One of the things on my increasing list of things to do here, I'm going to install a hard... Eighteen inches is right there. I think we're okay. Things gotta get the wires fished. It's always probably the hardest part of an electric job. Me hunting, which I'll forever be thankful for. It's kind of a place that they come back and visit. So, so there's a good chance that there's some muskox up this there. This is going up to the falls. Okay, I think we got well. Till the day I die. In the cold weather, when it fluctuates, warm, cold, warm, cold, it makes these breeder right old man. They're migratory animals. They chop herds. I'll take whatever so properly now. Extract that other cable. This is a real delicate operation right here. Always on the edge, and I love that. 
feel that it's the normal state for humans. It's good here. That's good. When you ice fishing, you Please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you miss it at the fork. I'm glad you okay. stopped. Got that ass. Okay. If you in fall the water when you're out on the ice, you have to get yourself out of the water. Maybe drive a little bit slower. Yeah, you never tell me to drive slower. <laughs> Knock it back up. Okay, it's slipping back down. Batteries are just the other side of this wall. Right too. Right. It ain't the movie. It's not just the idea of hunting, rush, but it's a dangerous thing to do. You can't 20 feet from you, and you definitely don't want to be. That's how they live their lives. It's so bad that it makes me want to work Let's harder. Let's strip it. Ooh. That's great. That's a confirmation that I'm wired correctly. Say I got one, you have three, we have four together. Yeah, four, four line. Fruit this catch. I'm all of protein and calorie every day to survive here. Protein here. We know there is fish and it feels really good and we can survive with that. Catch them still bedded down. Iris couldn't come today. So for this hunt, I decided to have we hunted really hard. We so saw many. Tons of cows and tons of calves. There's yourself. nothing there. And you Anyways, do it because you take the risk payoff, but then the payoff never comes. We build a shelter here. And we'll take advantage of the future cabin and the walls there. Our cabin built. Or at least get enough done so that the family could come. I guess that would be good. Like that? Yeah, probably. At least for this side. Yeah. Holy, this is a big storm coming. I think it's a big thing we do. It provides a lot of income for our families. These two cabins here are right. You know, during the winter months, trapping is you know, my biggest income. This crystal clear spring. I call the fountain of youth. That bubbles up out of the gravel bed here. Huge amount of snow. It's snowing every day, and it makes it life easier? really hard. We will. Nice. I see one in the back here. If I get this face, I will be knocked down probably. Make you fail. Yeah, I'm just going to chop up some bait and get on my way. Yeah, so right here. and then going into the trees for protection in the day. Not having one successful hunt doesn't make me question my life. Snow here in the north can be a double-edged sword. And one, it makes things harder trying to just... You have to be more careful, I for sure. Grab the rope. That? Yeah. Really close to minus 30 today, and this thing, if I pull it off, I'd probably rip off. It's only three inches by two inches. Out of all these hundreds of miles, I placed this trap. It has on me. Solid ice. You'll see it running out, and it'll have slick on it and rot. But this is just crystal. It's an acknowledgement that you're really lucky. And, um, they shouldn't be able to smell this trap. It was pre-boiled. Got bait. That's how you set a trap. All these marks so, catch. Ideal. And it's gonna make all the branches to do the bedding. It's comfy. It smells good. The present conditions here now are minus 40. One chore in particular. Partially decayed, that high up in the tr the momentum of the top. I've avoided injury so far on this, and I intend to keep that streak going. The gathering one, is nearly daily. Burns up the Crucial energy. 
See? What a 180 mile trap line. The extent what of what I do about? daily is a seven day week job. Um, We've been of... um, hearing about this uh, Cree trapper. Mama's got put on her with stuff. Mother Earth. Good morning. Good, morning. Good ever cold today. Oh, she's a little nippy, yeah. So we're all the dangers that run through my head is getting uh, an axe and a few those things out here because that's life and death, and that's where. You want to uh, hold them up hold for you? Them up? No. No. You might even hurt yourself, I so think. you have to be very cautious. There's no margin for her. Nope, not out here. In the event, overflow is surface that has got up on top of the main body. Pretty hungry. And the bird. I'm not really just in just surviving. I want to thrive. I do. I'm predicting that. Could Great Northern become a survival situation into a survival situation? 